Yo, what up, what up, what up? It is your man, King Howie. And uh, let's get into this um, Laker news. As uh, most of you probably already know, um, the LeBron James mur mural that was painted in L.A. was um, uh, vandalized. Um, you know, those are just Kobe fans. Um doing this kind of type of stuff right here man it's unwanted like i'm not trying to sound like a lebron james supporter on the matter but um this was just stupid um about as stupid as the mural getting painted up there like we understand we we we, we get it lebron james is now in the laker <laughs> and you know you have these uh fans that like to go to extra mile and do stuff like this and you know probably a lebron james fan happy to see lebron in la and then you know probably lived in a neighborhood where it was you know uh majority uh mamba fans kobe kobe bryant fans and these type of things happen but since uh the vandalism of the mural has happened they've cleaned it up it's not they cleaned it up. So all of that three and six, La Fraud, No King, we don't want you shit is not on the mural anymore. Moving on. <sighs> now this right here kind of like blew, mm -hmm. blew my mind a little bit. Pause. Uh, Kobe Bryant stated that uh, Magic Johnson... I don't I don't know if I if I'm saying this right. But he said I don't know if he said Magic deserved two statues or LeBron deserved two statues for LeBron coming to LA. I don't know if it was Magic or LeBron. Um if anybody see this video, if y'all could comment down there and correct me because I don't want to sound wrong. Um I think it was I'm not I'm not sure. Maybe it was Magic or LeBron. He said one of these two should get two statues. And I'm just and I'm just like really kobe i mean let's not start start this kind of kind of thing going on you know you got two numbers retired you know first time that's ever happened in nba history uh for a player to get two numbers retired but let's not let's not start jumping off the cliff so fast you know what i'm saying like the guy hasn't even played one game we don't know if lebron james might run into injury problems his 16th season going further down the line with the lakers so um i don't know maybe kobe bryant is just saying that out of pure excitement of uh the next the nostalgia the the aura the the, mm -hmm. the 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 feeling that's in the air around laker nation with lebron james landing out here in los angeles so um who knows you know everybody's excited you know, uh, a lot of wishful thinkers, people, pr uh, a lot of people are prisoners of the moment um, right now with LeBron being out here. But he, uh, Kobe saying that he so either him or Magic need two statues was just utterly ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Moving on. <sighs> now, there was reports that came out today stating that. Uh, Luke Walton and Ty Lu, Tyrone Lu, ex Laker. Uh, you know Tyrone Lu, the guy that AI stepped over when he hit the three point shot on him in the corner. Um, Luke Walton decided mm -hmm. to meet with Tyrone Lu to discuss how to deal with LeBron James. <laughs> exactly what I didn't want Laker Nation to go through with bringing LeBron James over here. Look at this shit. Look at this pure, utter cow manure that the Lakers are fucking running their feet through for LeBron James. Why does Luke Walton need to talk to Tyron Lue? Why does Tyron Lue need to talk to Luke Walton on handling LeBron James? Does that make any freaking sense? Ty Lu, you had to take a leave of absence because of your health this past season. 
because of dealing with LeBron James. Oh my God. The drama don't start, don't stop from La Drama James. Look at all of this shit that's building around. Just piling up. Just bricks of shit just piling up. Gosh. There's also a report saying that LeBron James is excited to play with Lonzo Ball. Um, duh. <laughs> I mean, y'all seen the, um, the game where when Lonzo played uh, against Cleveland and Cleveland and LeBron went up to him and hugged it out with him and, you know, did the whole cover in his face, talking in his jersey shit to Lonzo. You look that shit up on YouTube. But this bullshit right here. Oh my God! What is Luke Walton gonna tell? I mean, what is Tyrone Lue gonna tell Luke Walton about LeBron James? What can he tell him? It ain't like Luke Walton gonna step in the way of. Oh, I remember Tyrone Lue said something about LeBron doing that. Up, oh, I gotta step in. He ain't gonna do shit. You ain't gonna do shit, Luke. But just let LeBron be LeBron. Did Dan Tony say anything to Kobe Bryant? Did Mike Brown say anything to Kobe Bryant? No, they didn't. So this whole powwow, kumbaya bullshit y'all finna go do, talk about LeBron James. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever, Luke Walton. I'm just waiting on the day when Magic say, uh, I didn't bring you here, but I sure can push you out. <laughs> I've, I've been talking about this for a minute. <laughs> Luke Walton, I I don't see Luke Walton being there. Maybe he'll be there in spirit or assistant coach wise or whatever. But <laughs> who knows, man? Who knows? We'll see as the La, La Drama James drama unfold with the Lakers. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, this thing can get us a championship, at least one, at least one. Hashtag just win one. To LeBron James on Instagram. Can y'all do that? Laker Nation. And I am gone. <laughs>